Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Ledette. I'm an associate professor of disease ecology and epidemiology. If we can learn more about the tick, that will help everyone prevent themselves from suffering from a tick-borne disease. I always get the question, how do you protect yourself from getting bit and, and your, your uh, students? I have not had a tick-borne illness uh, and I've, I've been around a lot, thousands and thousands of ticks in my career. So this advice can and does work. However, uh, it's not ideal for most people. So often when we're on the field looking for ticks, we're wearing suits covered head to toe, um, taped in. So if a tick attaches to me, the only way they're gonna to get to skin is either climb all the way up my, my, my legs, I even sew pockets and everything closed, climb into my sleeve, which I will hopefully recognize them as they're cl climbing, or down my neck. So it's gonna be very hard for a tick to get to skin when I'm doing that. Now I know that's not ideal when you're out hiking, but little things you can do to protect that barrier. Remember, they're looking for skin. So if you can separate the skin from the tick, you're gonna provide a lot of protection. So one thing you do, tuck your pants into your socks. What does that do? Ticks are coming up from the ground, attaching your lower extremities. If they can't get under your pant leg where you can't see them, then you're more likely to see them crawling up your leg and you can brush them off. Tuck your shirt into your pants. Because again, if they can't get under your belt buckle, under your waist, they gotta climb up to your neck or into your arms more times for you to see them to get them off. Now I understand if it's really hot, you don't wanna wear pants, what do I do? Well, you can wear shoes, socks, wear socks, pull them up, light colored socks, you can see where ticks attach. I constantly look down when I'm walking because I'll pick ticks off me and just and throw them aside. Ticks are not gonna bite you as soon as they get on you. They're, they're gonna find a place to feed where you're, they're not gonna be seen. So you have time to take that tick and remove it prior to finding it attached later when you get home doing your tick check. So beyond making that physical barrier with clothing, socks tucked in so the ticks can't get to your skin, you can use somewhat of an offense. Things like permethrin-based sprays that are used for clothing are very effective at killing ticks when they attach to you. And that is used as an additional level of defense. So you can treat your clothes with permethrin, buy permethrin, impregnated clothing, as well as tucking that, that clothing in is gonna add a second level of prote protection when you encounter those ticks. Because if you go outside, even if you're wearing those clothes, you're gonna come across a tick and you don't want that tick getting into your skin. So multiple levels of protection to keep yourself safe. Now, permethrin is to be used as directed, not to be used directly on your skin. So I often get questions about what do I do for bare skin? If you're wearing shorts, well, you don't spray permethrin on your bare legs. You can spray it on your shoes, spray it on your socks, spray it on your shorts. What about your bare legs? Well, that's when you can supplement that permethrin impregnated clothing, your clothing barrier, with something like a skin-based repellent. Now, repellent, a is, does what it's, it is, is, is repelling, remember? It's not killing. It's keeping mosquitoes, other bugs, it's repelling them away from you. Permethrin is doing the killing, so it's, it's, it's important to make that distinction. And it's important to, again, use that in combination to where you feel safe, you feel protected. And then not to forget that on top of the barrier, remember we wanna do our tick checks, we wanna make sure some crazy tick got the, through all my defenses and it can happen. We want to catch them, you know, as soon as possible once they've attached. So you don't take tick protection for granted. Uh, you should perform all these procedures to protect yourself from getting sick. So as a tick expert, I often get asked the question, well, what do you do at home to protect yourself from ticks? And so what I do is very simply is I use permethrin treated clothing when at all possible. When I am out in tick habitat, I will tuck my pants into my socks. I may look crazy doing it, but I know it works. And I wear light colored clothing. I always look down at my lower extremities when walking because I can get the ticks before they attach. And then probably integral to all of that is when I get home, I'm doing a good tick check to make sure I haven't missed anything. Sometimes a lot of these things seem very complicated and hard to remember. Maybe, you know, I'm just running out to get the newspaper. Or I'm just going out to pick some tomatoes at my garden. What's the bare minimum I can do instead of getting prepared to go into battle? Okay, bare minimum. Have a pair of outdoor shoes. You treat with permethrin. Keep it right by your door. Throw those on. Go out. Come back. 
don't forget to do your tick check. Why just having those pairs of tick shoes, maybe you wanna call them, why just treating them with permethrin could be a bare minimum recommendation. Again, bare minimum, I want you to do everything, but bare minimum, ticks attach in your lower extremities. So they're climbing up from small pieces of grass or twigs. They're getting on your lower pants, your shoes, your socks. If you can have shoes that kill ticks, that is a great level of prevention. Obviously socks that kill ticks, pants that kill ticks, and then tick checks to take off ticks before they transmit disease. Doing this is a first good step at protecting you and your loved ones from a tick bite and the diseases they transmit.